I, I completed, I, I drafted a proposal of the law. We talked about, I talked to you about this a couple of weeks ago to kind of clarify and simplify when you have to do have site plan review and when you don't, um, especially if there's a change of use. Like there's a couple of those that are in front of the zoning board next week. And uh, uh, I, I just sent it to Jake and Chris today. Jake's not here, so as soon as they look at it, and we'll get it out to you guys, and we can get that. It will, it will really clarify and simplify when you have to go to site plan review and when you don't. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Because the problem was, if you look at each zoning district where it says what the permitted use is of, it's got subject to site plan review, and then it's got all these uses. Well, and then we have a site plan, you know, so it, it's like there's too many ends for site plan review. So most zoning codes, and I'm proposing we change it, just get rid of that subject to site plan review and say these are all the permitted uses. And then there's that exception, second part under 175.40 that says this is when you have to go to site plan review. So it, it's, just, it's, it's simple. It was, it was confusing to, you know, for the, the, the daycare center that's coming in uh, down on uh, Barrett Drive, and, and also the change for nest things. It's, it'll simplify it for when basically there's just a new tenant, but it's a new type of business, but they don't necessarily have to go through full site plan review. So that's coming soon. Thank you. Thank you.